so if you're a mercenaries fan we're already getting more mercenaries in the upcoming patch the dead mines patch which they just released right now and i thought it'd be a lot more interesting for me to go through the mercenaries updates rather than the actual cards which i'm not 100 sure we will be seeing they'll be placed over the weekend so we'll have to wait and see first things coming up i just want to mention we're having four legendary cards one epic 14 rares and 16 common cards so quite a little bit of cards there but mercenaries first up we got edwin van cleef edwin is a legendary the he is a pirate 13 slash 80 max stats which is a pretty good stat line for some fighters the abilities assassin's blade speed five attack an enemy if this hasn't acted yet this turn gain plus five attack and our health and attack it again that is not a bad speed um you definitely want to go a little bit faster so speed manipulation might be really good with edwin i'm not 100 sure it will be like nuts but let's read his other abilities assist this strike speed five cooldown one gain plus five attack for each friendly pirate and attack a random enemy combo gain immune while attacking this turn i would also imagine that these are probably the max stats of the ability not just like the first level because if this is the first level it's probably insane uh definitely a little bit of a better ability i think this is going to probably go into some kind of pirate comp it looks like but the combo of this is very good so hopefully this will be really good in a co pirate combo king's pin bounty five speed four cooldown two deal 10 damage to an enemy repeat for each other pirate you control death blow restore 25 health so generally speaking edwin looks to be the main dude in a pirate composition uh all these abilities seem rather good but we'll have to see what the rest of the pirates are equipment black flag four passive adjacent pirates are four speed faster holy moly that's a really good equipment that's pretty nuts it's almost like vuljin except for the adjacency does matters and it only works for pirates rather than shadow round of drinks for assisted strike is three speed faster and it always has immune while attacking that is not bad either um three speed faster on this is really good and always has immune, so you don't even need the combo this might be just good enough in just with one pirate because you go to 18 attack that's pretty great and last but not least we have even shares for king's bounty restores 10 more life and it affects all characters so i definitely think black flag is his best equipment edwin looks pretty great i'm going to be pretty surprised if he's not good enough but we'll, we'll have to wait and see what the other pirates are we have sneeds who is a pirate as well 77 76 max stats is a protector abilities buzz speed six deal damage equal to your attack if you activate if activate saw is active also damage targets neighbors what is activate saw what am i missing here oh activate saw speed three cooldown one gain plus six attack for two turns attack a random enemy that is also really good so you want to bring in sneeds when he is one turn after like you want to make sure like the cooldown's gone when you bring him in you play activate and then you play buzz and it kind of just pops off really good with edwin to be honest um generally speaking like if you have one pirate and you have this pretty good and this is nuts because you'll just be so fast i really like this ability already disarm speed three cooldown one attack an enemy give it minus five attack permanently this is really cool it works really well against like samaro or someone who's going to gain a lot of attack it might be a little too slow but one cooldown it might be the difference on that but he is really fast if you have edwin in the middle so we'll have to wait and see in the equipment buzz gains five bleed and i believe five bleed is just five damage every single turn titanium blades is activate saw gives a plus four attack and lasts one more turn that's really strong with this like getting extra attack and then buzzing after is really good and then extra blades sneed starts with an active saw active for turn one. Oh my god sneeds looks so freaking good what Okay, so far the pirates we've seen look really strong. I'm excited to see the rest. Yodora, pirate, 1078 max stats, abilities, coup de at, I, excuse me, speed four, attack an enemy. If it's the left or rightmost enemy, fire Yodora's cannons at it. Prepare the cannons are five, uh, sorry, speed seven, cooldown one, summon a cannon to the left or rightmost of this merc. Okay, so you fire a dude out of a cannon? Fire, summon a cannon to the left. Oh no, you summon a cannon, okay. Covering fire, speed seven, cooldown. Restore 12 health to a friendly merc and return them to your bench. Fire all your cannons. What is the cannon is what I'm very concerned with. I don't really know what the cannon is. So I don't, unless I'm missing something, if you see something that you know about cannons, let me know. I would like to know what cannons are. Uh, bracers are just going to be good. T plus two, plus 10 is just good stats. 
cannon does five more damage i'm guessing it's just like a thing that does just periodic damage every single turn kind of like we've seen in pve so maybe if you summon multiple cannons it's pretty great i don't know if the cannons are gonna have life maybe there's gonna be a thing in the bottom here primed armaments battle cry summon a cannon okay so when she gets summoned she just summons a cannon in general so all again all the pirates right now look really cool we have mr smite who is a pirate 775 max abilities abilities smite slam speed eight gain plus five attack for each enemy with 40 or less health attack an enemy um definitely not the worst thing i've ever seen it is kind of slow i'm not a huge fan of it avastia matey speed two gain taunt this turn after an enemy attacks this mark gain plus five attack could be really good if you know that your opponent's going to be attacking a lot so if you're going against a lot of fighters really strong overboard speed three cooldown one after another friendly character is damaged this turn gain plus 10 attack and attack a random enemy hmm definitely not the worst thing in the world so you would want to go for like the taunt first and then overboard could be pretty decent i'm not super optimistic on this but we'll see also as a rare i didn't mention this is an epic so sailor's cap mr smite gains an additional four attack from smite slam could be fine um but we'll have to wait and see i guess this is fine with the overboard as well it just really context based so both of these are in their own way good it just depends on what you're going against heavy anchor overboard gains six pence attack if the damage friend is a pirate not bad not bad sharpen the scabbard whenever another friendly pirate attacks gain plus four attack could be good too um again like so this is really heavily dependent on pirates i kind of like sneeds more for the protector aspect of it but maybe there's more to this and then last but not least is cookie the cook murloc six seven max stats ability fish feast nature speed heal deal 10 damage to an enemy death will give 15 plus health to all friendly characters that's decent uh death blow doesn't really proc that easily but this is very fast in its nature so that's really good cookies cook in five speed five cooldown one bleed to all enemies restore five health to friendly murlocs and pirates okay so you can go to part like a pirate comp that's pretty good go fish five nature speed four cooldown one summon a random fish for your opponent with a death riddle that benefits you definitely not that bad either um i don't know what a random fish would be i wish there was more context here and then equipment wise with a death row that benefits you very interesting season pan fish feast gives you plus five attack as well probably not going to be that good because it's a caster you don't generally want to attack with casters unless it's very very needed uh cooking caster also restores an additional five health which would be pretty good and then start a game give all friendly characters plus enough this whoa okay appetizers is really good really strong equipment plus nine health is really good it changes breakpoints quite a bit and then there looks to be a new pve content to farm the new area i'm really excited for these i want to know what you guys think of the new mercenaries let me know in the comments down below i love mercenaries i hope you guys are excited and as standard cards get released i will show them here thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one you look fantastic